The implementation of LEDs had to expose the shortcomings of traditional photo controls. Night Fox was designed from the ground up to be able to match the life expectations that these new LED technologies bring. Now that the LED fixtures can last 10 years without potentially having to go to the pole for maintenance, going there just to change the photo controls provides an unnecessary expense. As far as the technological piece of it, um, the main thing is, is this little component right here is the microprocessor. That microprocessor gives us the ability to do zero cross of the sine wave. That limits the high interrush current when the LED lighting fixture is started. It can be up to 100 times the operating current. Our target was to create a product that we can warranty to last as long as the LED fixture. So we build that reliability into our product by the type of components that we put into the product, by uh, conformal code in the product, and by doing a very extensive validation test of our design. We have a whole team of uh, test engineers that uh, put it through a battery of tests. We've tested beyond its ratings. We help the engineers early in the design and throughout the entire design process, so we know that it'll comply with our electronic ballast testing. Um, they'll design in certain mechanical features knowing that it has to comply with our rain test. They'll check the different light levels knowing that it has to comply with our ANSI C136.10 light level testing. In our test lab here in Spring Grove, Illinois, if you look around, walk around, see what we're able to do, we make sure we meet and exceed the standards. We're also able to do regulatory testing that other labs may not be able to. We can do temperature testing, overload endurance testing. We also can do environmental testing. We have tested our products up to 15,000 on-off cycles under full load. For example, for LED drivers, we use the load as specified by the NEMA standard 410. We have a vertically integrated factory that allows us to understand all the processes involved in building a world-class photo control. A lot of companies may use third-party manufacturers. We're lucky because we own our manufacturing facility in Mexico. So our manufacturing facility is involved early on in the design process. Our manufacturing plant is ISO 9001. We constantly are looking ways to make things better, um, and that goes to the components in the unit to the way we build it. The contactor boxes that we make um, we're using all components that go through the rigid UL safety requirements. So the circuit breakers, terminals, even the enclosure have all been validated by UL as a third party. I know that many of the utilities do not require UL requirements, but we go above and beyond for safety. What we're able to do is give a custom box so if they want NEMA 4X, stainless steel, if they want anywhere from 30 to 400 amps on the disconnect, we can do that. If they want a photo control on the top of the box, we can do that. So it's really a custom enclosure. The new product that we're coming out with here is a seven pin power tap. You have the receptacle on the top of it, and then basically an outlet to hook power to. So what's changing in the industry is um, those are becoming a revenue source in many cases. So it may be charge a car, okay? It may be to have a camera. It may be to hook up holiday lights to. That's gonna become more and more common, and with the smart cities, that's an element that we're gonna see that continue to grow. For our power tap, we are testing it to ANSI C136.10. All of the applicable requirements to know that that power tap, when used with a photo control and a load, will operate as we're claiming. We spend a lot of time out in the field talking to our customers, whether it be the investor-owned utility, the municipality, or the co-ops, where historically we would take a product and the product manager or engineer would have responsibility for a product. Now it's really more of a segment and you look at how you can solve the customer's problem. So from that, we're able to better design a product to meet the needs and requirements of the market.